All right, so coming to us from Hot Toys, I've never seen such a quick response on Facebook here. Um, obviously, Patterson's The Batman, I'm Vengeance, is very popular. Not my favorite Batman, but you know what? He's growing on me, I, I will say that. So some really cool photos here of Robert Pattinson as Batman, along with the Bat Cycle and the, of course, the Bat Signal. So, I mean, look, I got to tell you guys, like I said, originally when I watched the movie, I thought it was okay. You know, it was definitely one of the darker Batman movies. I, you know, it was it was decent. But as I watch it again, he is growing on me. So let's see what they do with number two. Face sculpt looks good. They've done a really, really good job with the suit. I, I got to tell you, this is probably the best version I've seen out of anyone. Regardless of whether it's a 6-inch, you know, 8-inch, 12-inch, that's what Hot Toys does. This here is a very sleek-looking The Batman suit. No doubt about it. They did a really good job with it. Looks like it comes with all the back gadgets, including sticky bomb gun, die-cast batarangs, grappling hooks, and an array of highly detailed accessories, including wingsuit, which you'll see later on the footage. That's pretty cool, the wingsuit. They actually threw that in there for gliding scenes. Batman cowl, the Riddler envelope, handcuffs, a special design figure stand with diorama accessories featuring LED light-up staircase and building decor, which I'm sure is probably an upgraded deluxe version. Uh, the bat signal actually measures 23 centimeters in height, so it's pretty proportionate to, um, you know, a, the 12-inch figure that you would obviously get here. Uh, whatever else we got here. Uh, the bat cycle measures 42 centimeters in length and, of course, also features LED light-up functions designs on the head and tail lights and an adjustable degree handlebar, rotatable rubber wheels, given a realistic tread pattern very very cool stuff you guys can read all about it over on facebook and then again the face sculpt looks good as well too what i like about this figure is it's not bulky he's got a nice sleek look to it no doubt about it i don't really know i'm just reading here if they say anything of whether the cape is wired or not I'm not really seeing that so it's hard to tell i'm, I'm probably going to say no i don't really see uh, wire capabilities in the cape there but in some of the poses it does look like it's swirling i don't know if they're just doing effect there but that's something they really got to explain especially with batman being batman collectors like even myself i like the wire cape concept because it's like you want a swirling in the background they should have really put some emphasis on that whether or not there's wire if it's a wire cape drop a comment below if you guys know more than we do anyway Head on over to Hot Toys right now on Facebook. Link in the description of the video and let us know what you think of this. The Batman by Hot Toys looks pretty cool. All right, take care, everyone.